Welcome to the 2024 main indicator tutorial. Um, this is your guy Rainbow Runner here. I'm gonna go through this um, video real quick, trying to show you all the changes and stuff we've added to the main indicator throughout the years. It's come a long way since the original videos and we are overdue. So wanted to do a quick breakdown of this um, to show you guys all the options because we're having a lot of new users come in and ask really, really important questions. And I wanted to make sure I give you guys some decent backup um, and something to reference. So. In the event that you try to uh, give us a shout and give us a tryout at, at rainbow-trends.com, you'll be signed up um, and it'll take about 24 hours to 48 hours to sync up um, all of the tools to your inbox. I say your inbox to your, your TradingView account. Um, when you click indicators on the top left, you will be greeted with this screen here and your invite only is where you're going to want to go and you're going to want to go down and you'll see one called main indicator version 2.1 is what we're looking at today. So you'll click this and it will be added to your chart up here. And the first thing you'll notice is the colors don't look right. The first thing you need to do, and I apologize, this is just something we can't really program around. You have to bring the indicator forward. So it's there, it's just behind the normal candles. So you'll go into, you'll click this triple, little triple dot here and go to visual order bring to front and now you can see that the colors are there um, and now you're you're kind of set to go once you set it like that it's there and you can kind of hide it and you can see like it's there it's just overlaid over the top of the base candles I think you can hide these candles potentially this is maybe another way to do it but that's always the way we go through click the three dots visual order bring to front and you can do the same thing with like any indicators if there's a certain signal signal that's overlapping and you want it to be more pronounced make sure it's at the top so main indicator you'll see here there's colors all over the screen the first thing you're going to want to check is the website for the color key this is the how the colors work this is the whole basis of rainbow trends this was like 80 revisions deep to get this color scheme right and uh so far it's been really, really successful, but a lot of people that come in new, they don't know this color scheme and I take that for granted sometimes. So if you go to the main Rainbow Trends in, uh, website page, you can click this indicator link here and it will take you to this page and it shows you what the colors are. And long story short, you can look at red and green candles all you want. Some people can do that. Um, I prefer to look at the strengths and the weaknesses of what the bulls and bears are doing. And if you look at this, we basically start with a normal strength bullish movement a cyan strength or blues the next level and then purples and pinks and you'll see a lot of us talking in the discord um, about pinks and whites and stuff like that these are the strongest prints possible by the tool and that's when we see absolute capitulation and that's when also we see like parabolic tops so um, in general bulls and bears they're very very strong but they're finite in strength so they can only sustain these heavier colors like yellow and white or the bulls can only sustain purple and pink for a certain amount of times before they have to retrace and give it back to the other team. So that color, we'll scrap it real quick, is the basis of these, these prints here. So you can see we have pink candles only being sustained for a very short period of time, rolling back over, continuing, and then getting weaker to only blues. And then we went into like a cumulate, or we went into a range here for Bitcoin. Um, we had a recent capitulation event here. You can see that they actually printed white candles for a very brief amount of time. And then price proceeded to give it back over to the bulls and bulls responded with a 28% revision or mean reversion. So that's kind of the basis of like rainbow trends. Um, it's like, you know, Eskimos have got like 80 different words for snow. Most people just have one. We look at it like this. There's multiple movements to the way bulls and bears move. And there's only certain time periods where they can be extended so far before something bad or it's not bad, but something has to happen. So that's where we look at it. And that's the color key. Um, so if you're ever curious, like you said, if you want to read up on it, the main indicator, there's videos, tutorials and stuff at the main website. But that color key right there is if you click indicators, it's right there. Um, and you can also click tutorials and it'll break it down. But anyway, in another way to look at this, think of this like your car. Say you have a bull car and a bear car. If you put the pedal to the metal wide open, you can only go a few miles before something you run out of gas. Um, if you want to sit there and put the cruise control on 30 miles an hour and just creep through the charts, you can do you can go for a very, very long time. So just kind of think of it like a gas tank as well for like a car. You can only go so far, so fast in one direction before it 
something has to happen. And a lot of rainbow traders hit these capitulation events where we think things are going to pop. And we do it over and over again when everyone is crying that everything's over and we keep our sanity saying, hey, I know this is scary, but I'm going to buy some white candles because that's that's the tip of the iceberg of when this thing's going to revert back. So anyway, back to this. That's the main indicator. That's how you add it to the chart. Once you sign it up, that's how you bring it forward. That's your color key. And let's go through the settings because the settings we've added so much over the past three years. Um, so shout out to all the Rainbow Trends dudes who's helped us come up with all of these different things. So I wanted to go through this line by line because I'm getting questions and they're great questions. It just, it makes me understand that uh, I need to give some better base material to learn from it. So that's what this whole video is about. So bear with us. So if you are a person who can't, you that uses light mode and doesn't use dark mode, we have an option here and this will basically make the white candles because white candles on a white background won't show up it'll flip them over to black or like a gray dark gray color so you can actually see them that's all that is people then ask next what is the rainbow symbol so the symbol here is telling you that people wanted us to add alerts to when these whales rotate and the thing we look at there is this algorithm will print a rainbow on the very first weaker color after a white or a pink. So what's that mean? It'll put a rainbow on the chart anytime you print a yellow after a white. Same thing, if it prints a purple or anything weaker after a pink, it'll do the same thing. So this allows you to say, hey, you can set alerts on your timeline. You can click an alert here, add alert, go to main indicator, and you can do rainbow color rotation bullish bearish or bearish and bullish i need to kind of maybe change that so you can read it but if you highlight it you can see it so you can set your alerts here and you can get an email or a text message say hey things are really really bad but we're starting to print weaker colors after a full bottom that's what that these three alerts are all about and you would do once per bar close open into the alert and type it saying rainbow reversal bitcoin and you could do create and now every time that pops up you'll get an automated alert to your phone or whatever, however you want to do it um, through TradingView. So that's what those are. And you can see it right there. This is diving all the way down to white. And then it reversed back and started coming back up in the colors. And that flagged on the first candle after white. So that's how those work. The next thing, and you can turn these off. I normally don't keep them on my charts, but you can, you can toggle them on and off. And that's how you can do that. You can also change the emoji here to, to whatever you want. You give it a second, it should change. Yeah, so you can label these however you want. I just do the emojis because it's fun. Um, you can also, uh, there's label. Actually, I need to check that one if you, oh, my bad, that's what it was. So say you put this as rotation you can also change the colors. That's what that is. You can change the background color. So we can change these to orange. You'll see that it's orange. On the upside, if we were looking at a whale reversal here, a rainbow reversal, you could change that as well. So that's the, the label there, as well as the label colors. And, you, and at all times, mess with this stuff all you want. Click down here, reset settings, we're back. So the base settings are based on H4, and they'll pretty much work H2 to H6 without really any, any changes, and you're pretty much good. Um, you start getting into really low time frames, you're gonna have to tune these up, but we've got a we've got an update to the automatic tuning that's gonna help out with that all the way down to like 30 second candles. So stay tuned. But that covers this entire section. The next one is automatic color tuning. So you can turn the automatic color tuning on and off. This was our first layer into trying to get tuning on the lower time frames, more to match as well as the higher time frames. Um, and you can turn this on and off and it's going to give you a little bit different readings. So you can see here, um, some guys are really locked into their tunes. They turn this off and they only focus on the manual adjustments. But if you like auto tune, there's an auto tune gain and increasing or uh, auto tune gains here. And you can manually adjust the automatic tuning for all time frames, or you can turn this off or on. Doesn't matter. You can manually adjust the time frame. So we have the linear shift for the time here. I'm sorry for the uh, for the fine tuning here, 
and then we have and I use my mouse wheel for these as you can if you can't tell and then you can do manual fine tuning as well on an exponential shift and it's it's kind of hard to explain but needless to say it's let me see if I can kind of draw this if you do manual shifting your settings kind of move in a linear direction but if you do the exponential shift your tunings kind of space out further is kind of how it works a lot of people just you get used to it and you just gotta kind of play with it um, and as always find your numbers find your whales find your coins whatever right find what works for you and get the colors. some people want these colors super super hot people want them really really cold it just it's all it's all about you and what works for you as well as the coin you're working. A lot of us trade some really silly coins, but they're really, really consistent with the whales and it just is what it is. So that's the color fine tuning. Um, a good example of what I say by like too hot or too cold, if I increase this sensitivity, you'll start to see that the, we start printing less and less colors. So like that's too cold to me. That's only red and green. On the flip side, if I go too far, It'll be like hot and then eventually it'll just be like white and pinks, which is way too hot. So I don't really like that, but somewhere in between you can find what you like. And sometimes people do a little mixture of both and it's just all about what works for you. Some people are trading 30 second candles on S and P 500 futures. Like I said, it just, it matters what you want. Um, the next thing is the bull bear trend line. So we kind of have a basis of what the, these colors run off of that's all this is you can shift it up you can shift it down and that kind of gives you like different thresholds of how long you want to stay bearish or how short you want to stay bearish or bullish vice versa and then you can smooth that line out some more so a lot of if you want some tunings on stuff like that um most people don't touch this i personally don't either but some of the low time frame traders will pull this down a little bit the next one is well prints that are those are these triangles so in general, we have an idea of what, first off, what's a well print? A well print is a bid that is seen executed by the algorithm that seems to be standing out compared to the rest. What's that mean? It means, hey, there's a normally like a lot of chop back and forth, but then you'll start to see the algorithm will say, hey, this actually looked like some big players stepped in and started um, bidding heavily as kind of an outlier. So just think of it kind of like an outlier in the bids that the thing picks up. And then we have well prints here, which are these triangles. Red triangles are bearish, green triangles are bullish. And then when you see well clusters, that's what these settings are. So you have well prints, you can toggle on and off, and then you can also increase and decrease the sensitivity. So if you decrease this, it gets crazy, right? Obviously too much. And then we have the well print cluster alert. So shout out to long-term trader with us at Rainbow Trends, uh, Pixa. Pixa trades well clusters a lot. So what's that mean? He looks for well prints of three or more in a short period of time. And typically when you see clusters of these, more than three, it tends to forecast a move um, before it happens. So the fact that we're on Bitcoin right now on the one hour and there's three red bullet bearish well prints here, it's not a good look. Um, believe we saw it. Yeah, we started getting them up here. Bam, 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 bam. We actually got a well print cluster. So we actually got all the way up to 69,000, almost 70,000. And then well print started clustering here and we went all the way down to like 50. It's a really, really good signal. Um, we go back to one hour. We can see this a little better. So let me explain this. Cause this is a little tricky. Um, the well print table here, you can toggle the table off if you don't want to see it. But what this whole well print clusters does is it looks through the past 10 candles and it counts well prints. And if it sees three or more of the well prints here in those past 10 candles, it'll put the little whale emoji or you could do, you can change it as well, well print, right? Or you'd say well print cluster, whatever you want. You could, you could put funny emojis on these two. doesn't matter. It's fully customized. So well print cluster and the threshold is three well prints in the last 10 candles is what this is. So number of prints in the past 10 candles. So if I decrease that to one, right, you can see that it's a lot. And if I increase it to five, like you'll say, Hey, there's not five in the past 10 candles. It doesn't show up. So you can do your threshold here. You could do your well print there. And you can also, I believe do alerts on these as well. Yeah. 
So you can do bull well cluster alert and bear well cluster alert. So you can get automated alerts for these well print clusters when they print and it'll do it based off the settings here. So if you do these really aggressive, you can get a lot of alerts. Just make sure your settings are okayed out and then do your alert, but it'll match it to your settings. So that's well prints. That's well print cluster alerts. The table there just kind of shows you, Hey, in the past 10 candles, we've seen three and that's why it's flagging there. It's just a little nice little tracker. Um, some people like to see when they flip through their charts and you don't like it, turn it off. It'll stay there. You don't want well print cluster alerts at all. You can turn those off. You want to turn well prints off. It's all customizable. Change colors as well. No big deal. Some people like light mode with a lot of black and white. It's all there. So the next thing is pivots. So I'm going to turn all these off. So we're not looking at these. We can turn the rotations off as well. We'll go back to four hour because that's the basis of all these tunes. And we have pivots. So pivots are basically what the algorithm uses to map out key support and resistance levels. And typically when you see clusters of them, they flag order blocks. So oh, I need to fix this because this needs to be red and transparent. And what's the other setting? I think it's extend, extend right. There you go. So that gives us an order block there. And then we get an order block here off of the well prints right there. That's kind of our basis of support and resistance. So these well prints, not well prints, these pivots show you those type of marks, moves up and down. Support and resistance levels. Um, typically the green are flagged as identified as support and the reds are kind of identified as bullish. Regardless, if you get some red ones in a, what you think is a support area, treat it like a support area. It's these, these algorithms, it's two of them. One tries to hunt tops, one tries to hunt bottoms, and it places the uh, the pivots as, as required. As I said, you can turn these off and on, and you can also increase the sensitivity. So if you back these off, you're going to get way more sensitivity. Likewise, if you go forward and you go into the positive direction, it will start peeling them back and, and increasing the threshold of what it takes to print those. Really, really key uh, part of Rainbow Trends. Um, this is something Doppel originally came out, or requested way back in the day, and I spent about two weeks on this, and we've been locked in on it ever since because it it tends to hit hard. This pivot here, you can see, touches it almost to the dollar. They show a lot of support, even support there, bam, 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 back up. And then we actually start tagging these pivots again and rejecting. They've got a lot of power. Um, whales tend to respect these pivots a lot. It's actually kind of magical. <laughs> There'll be stuff that's like almost a year old and they'll still respect the pivot. It's pretty crazy. But moving forward, there's also a manual adjustment here for the length of the dashes. You can increase it a little bit but it'll eventually hit the max limits of trading view and you'll have to pull it back. 450 was pretty much the max I could get out of this. Uh, most people don't mess with this. If you ever get in a chart where they don't print, come in here and back those off. So that is the main indicator 2024 edition updated. That's every single setting. That's what they do. That's the explanation of them. Those are your alerts. You can do the alerts for make sure this is on main indicator. You can do it for your whale clusters. I'm sorry, your whale clusters here, your bull and bear. You can also do your um, rainbow reversals here as well. And that way you can automate some of your trading processes. Now, if you say, hey, first question is runner, what tunes do you use? What tunes do you use? I leave this thing on default 99% of the time. If I go to like the S&P 500, I don't like how slow the s p 500 is for these tools so it doesn't look very good so i will go and grab the manual adjuster here and just decrease the exponential one and i'll get a little bit of flavor there on those colors and i'm good to go anyway that is all we have for today that's the major updates um, that runs you everything on the main indicator um, if you have any questions shoot us a message or hit up the discord all of our ogs will help you there and if you're curious where to find us in general, go to rainbow-trends.com and you can sign up today for just $10. Talk to you guys later.